In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to use Synthize's batch processing system, which is designed to save you time by processing a whole bunch of shots all in a row while you can go off and do something else. So I'll start just by opening up a shot. And this is just a standard uh, tutorial shot. We'll use the default settings. Now instead of starting up the tracker or uh, saving it away, we'll just hit the Submit for Batch. And now it's been queued up. And if the batch processor was already running, the shot would start being tracked immediately. Instead, though, I'm going to go and open up another shot. And again, the default settings on the opening. But this, this shot has a zoom in it, so I just will check the box here. So you do whatever adjustments to the settings you need to do uh, before you submit the shots for batch processing. And one other thing I need to adjust is on the preferences panel you'll see that there's a default export type setting and after the batcher completes each shot it uses this default export to write out you know an export of that particular shot and you need to have not only which one you want set up, but also you need to have previously used that exporter and adjusted its user interface to get the right settings. So for LightWave, you know, maybe I set it to export in meters or yards or inches or something. And I've done that ahead of time. And one other trick to this is just that if you do need to change those uh, the default exporter there, you need to shut down Synthize before you start up the batcher because when you shut it down then it writes out that preferences data and uh, the batcher is going to read that data when you uh, first start it up. So you just need to close it down if you change it so that the right data gets seen. So now we're ready to start up the batch processing itself and I just did that. You'll notice down here there's a splash screen because this batch processor is really, you know, another process that's that's running Synthize. And I could go and close down the initial Synthize, or I could go and use it to keep on tracking some other shots, maybe that I'm going to do supervised tracking on, uh, while this, you know, batch processor is doing its thing. I could just switch back to the original one and point out one other thing. There's a batch Q folder here that has each of the shots that are going to be processed in it. So before they were both here, it's already completed one of them, and now it just completed the other. So let's switch back to the batcher here. You know, see it's it's now finished up, and we can go back and look at all the logs. And if I wanted, I could copy them out onto the clipboard and print them out or whatever. So I'm going to hit stop. And that just tells it to stop scanning for new uh, files, and I can close it up. Uh, alternatively, I could have just kept that batcher going, shoved it down in a corner of the screen, and, and let it sit and wait for anything else I wanted to submit at a later time. But now that I've completed uh, the background auto tracking of those shots, I can go pop in and look at the output queue. And now there are all the tracked shots there and they need to have their coordinate system set up still and maybe I need to take a look at some of the tracking make sure you know there aren't any moving objects or trees waving around or whatever that need to be cleaned up manually um, but the shots basically ready to go we've done the time consuming part of the tracking process already now if I need to make any adjustments you know I could just go and switch over into refine mode on the solver and uh, do whatever and relatively quickly. So, you know, both of the shots are there ready to go. And similarly, if I look in that export folder, you know, here are the exported versions of the shots ready to go also. So, you know, maybe if I was tracking a tripod mode shot where I didn't need to set up any uh, initial coordinate system at all, you know, I might be able to go and use those directly. So that's the basic idea behind the batch processor. Hope it uh, saves you all a lot of time. Thanks.